own path. He lived off of stuff. It reminds me, have you ever heard of the, the Japanese survivor in Guam? Have you heard about that yes, story? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. Tell that story. So from my understanding, during World War II, there was a crash in Guam and uh, from a dogfight. And this Japanese pilot or, or guy who was in the plane went and hid in a cave up on a mountain in Guam. And he spent until like 2002 living in this cave thinking that World War II was continuing. And he thought he had a better life living in a cave and living off of the jungle because Guam is like a hub for, I think, United or Delta, one of the major airlines. So all these planes are coming in and out every day, and he oh. thinks it's World War II continuing. Wow. Yeah, and there's military bases and everything else in Guam. So was he it just, really 2002? Uh, Jamie would have God, to look, but I it was very it was like recent. like the 80s or something. I didn't know it was like, that's... That's he must have been f old as fuck. Yeah, he was like in his seventies or so. I, I don't. I'm, I'm probably getting Let's, the date we'll, wrong. We'll but find it. But yeah. still, that, <laughs> that's so crazy. But can yeah, you imagine? How would you know? How would you know? And right. what if you fucked up and went in too early? Right. You know, and then right. it is still World War II, and they shoot you. Exactly. You just hang out for another year. Yep. Just just <laughs> I'll spend a couple more days in the cave. <laughs> oh my god. So what is? There's it? two stories actually. We'll go with this one first. Is the one you were talking about. This okay, is his so name. this one... 97. 97. Oh, well, died in 97. died in 97. Yeah. So, because years of, of service, 41 to 45, and then it says 1972, I but guess. Do you see that? 28 years yeah. of hiding in the jungles of Guam. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's what we're talking about there with 45. So, I, so they <clears> found him in 72. I just saw a story this morning, which it's not new. It Apparently it was in 2013. There was a man, uh, his... A uh, man took his two sons after Vietnam came, hmm. and they were hid in the woods for 40 years. Wow. Forced to live off rats and make loincloths out of tree bark. Man who spent 41 years living in the jungle after fleeing Vietnam War makes emotional return to his former home. 41 years. Like, so look at the picture of him. Social skills, obviously, and he didn't know what a woman was. They said it, he said really? he his father didn't tell him what a woman was. They saw five people their whole life and hid from him in the woods when they saw him. This is according oh to what I read earlier today. Oh, my God. Huh. Do you think... Oh, 